Hello, wine lover Tom here from Different Drop uh, with my mate Brendan Carter from Unicazilla in the Adelaide Hills who's popped in. Um, and we're talking about uh, a topic or I guess a, a term that's becoming more prevalent in Australian wine uh, and that's orange wine. Uh, we're not talking about wine from, from uh, orange. orange in New South Wales. No, no. What are we talking about, mate? What is orange wine? Look, it's uh, orange wine, amber wine. Uh, we, some guys call it skin contact wine. Uh, it's it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a white wine that really has been made like a red wine, you know, in contact with the skin. Red wine obviously gets its colour and the flavour yep. from its skin. So we thought we could do that with um, with white wine. It's actually a legitimate style. It hails from a uh, little country called Georgia, yep. a little bit north from Italy, and it has been transplanted. The style is kind of uh, it's it's moved into Friuli, into Sicily, and it's hit Australia, and it's actually going bonkers at the moment. Yeah, uh, and think of it more like a a white wine that's kind of been turned up to eleven. So you get, you get more aromatics, you get more phenolics, you get uh, you know a sharper style of wine, which isn't actually a bad thing, especially when you're pairing it with charcuterie, yeah. blue vein cheese, anything that's, I guess, stinky yeah. uh, and, and matured tends to go really well with these styles of wine. Uh, and I mean, we're seeing them become more and more and more approachable in style. Yeah. As Australian winemakers, we're trying to figure out this it's a new playground. I think we sort of start off by going right out there and yeah. testing the boundaries, and then sort of pull it back to meet to meet the customers. Yeah, and... yeah, I guess so. You know, you have the avant garde, and then you've got you know your, your mainstream guys, and then you've got a few guys that are cropping up in the middle that yeah. are you know really surprising us at the moment. Yeah. And I mean, you can see the color guys as well. Um, you know, a different sort of more depth of the color and a more sort of cloudiness, which is also obviously from being unfined and unfiltered. But mm -hmm. I mean, for me, the thing I love about orange wines is 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 the texture and the complexity. It's, it's like just a scrumptious like quality as well. The acid is mouth watering. Yeah. Uh, and so it just it begs for another glass and begs for another glass and before you go, ah, oh, where'd my bottle go? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I, I, that's never happened to me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, yeah. neither, neither. All right, guys, look, I, I recommend trying these wines. You know, they're, they're, they're different to, to your classic sort of crisp Sauv Blanc or Riesling or your big oaky Chardonnay, but they're just terrific wines. Um, and, and something a bit different and wines that make you think and then they're not going anywhere. So, mate, thanks very much, Brendan. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Orange wine.